Hi guys, Rudy from WTF Golf here and welcome to Four Ways Pro Shop. I've got Alfred here, Master Splitter here at the Pro Shop in Four Ways. He's going to help us uh, go through uh, club fitting today, especially with the putter. Alfred, can you just tell us what is the importance of putter fitting, please? Okay, so I, f I find that the putter fitting is extremely important because people don't really look into this area. And this is the area where you are playing most of your strokes in the golf course on the putting green, and there is an art behind this that people need to understand and need to learn that not everyone is the same. Uh, everyone has different sto strokes, different styles, different release patterns, uh, different ways of putting, and uh, there is plenty of stock out there, plenty of different styles out there. It's quite important to understand what's going to work for you, and uh, that's why we, we do what we do here. No, definitely, uh, if we can have a look around there's hundreds of putters here uh, where they may, the tailor-made may be made five irons at a time, there would be 10 or 20 putters. So it is very important to find the correct putter that suits your swing and um, that can take you forward. They, they always say the part is, uh, putting is an art, it is not a, a, a skill. So we're going to go through it. Um, Alfred, so you're going to suggest the putter for me today. Um, you're going to help. I'm actually on a toe balance putter at the moment, so let's have a look at your putter. So, first things first is obviously this is a toe heavy putter. Uh, this is a blade design. It's got a bit of offset, so there's probably about four degrees of loft on this putter. Uh, you've got a very thin grip putter here, and uh, I'm not too sure what the length of this. Probably just a standard 35 inch length. Yes, good fun. So I, I'm going to have to have to look at your putting stroke, see how you how you hit the ball. Uh, see if the shaft is correct, is the grip correct, is the style correct, and we'll take it from there. Alright, okay, thanks. Let's go and um, have a look at the putting style. So what you're going to do is there's three balls here. Just give me a few putts to this hole over here, and uh, let's have a look. Just have a few putts for me. Just your own style. I don't need a new putter. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Give me a last one. Almost oh, Okay, so what I'm observing here, Rudy, is one part is left quite short, the other one you've hit long, and the other one was spot on in the yes. middle. So what I'm sensing here is a little bit of inconsistency. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think if we can get the ball rolling much better, uh, get that pace right, getting to you to hit the center much more often, it's going to improve your, 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 uh, your pace as well. So by having a look at your stance, number one ball position is quite far forward, uh, your shaft lean, so if you look at the shaft lean, your hands is quite behind the ball. Okay, so you don't have much of a forward press, it's not pretty much in the center, it's quite a little bit behind the golf ball. Okay? Right, right. And your eye line is also right over the ball. Okay. Okay, so you're standing pretty much over the ball. So with this, this is meant for someone that's got a slight arc. Yeah. So his eye, line, his eye line is going to be slightly inside the ball. With your eye line being over the ball, you're going to look into more a face balance putter. All right. Okay. okay, face balance putter. And we'll go through now no, just show all the different balance putters. I'll, I'll uh, take a video of everything that the type of balance the, yeah. the putters you can hit out there. Exactly. Okay, so your style is face balance, and because your hands are slightly behind the golf ball, yeah. we need to get the lock off the putter. Okay. So a center shaft putter has got only two degrees of lock. Yeah. A uh, center shaft putter is also helping for someone that doesn't have a forward press. Okay. So the ball should roll much better. Uh, it's not going to skip, and uh, that putter is definitely going to work much better for you. So let's test it. Okay, right. makes sense you, to me. I'll give you an option here. I've got an even roll putter here. Uh, it's, it's a center shaft putter. It's got a little bit of a thicker grip just to add some stability through the stroke. Okay. Uh, let's hit two putts with this and let's see how it goes. I never used a, a thicker grip before. Okay. Uh, can you just tell me the, the science behind the thicker grip, please? So the thicker grip just allows you to maneuver your hands much better. Okay. A lot of people, which they use a thinner grip and they tend to miss the putts to the left. Okay. The release pattern is better. Okay. So the center shaft just stabilizes the wrists. It keeps the stroke a little bit more 
more straight yeah. on line. Okay. And uh, hopefully it's, it's going to work. And that's also something I'm struggling with to get my stroke straight. So hopefully yeah. it will. This I will see the one that you, you did miss one to the left. Yeah. That might be a sign that the grip is too thin. Okay. I think the grip sense. will just make uh, <laughs> now the stroke to be a little bit more straighter. Let's have a putt with this and let's see how it goes. So as you can see, ball position is forward, the shaft is yeah. back. Uh, and your eye line, if I drop a ball from your eyes, it's going to drop uh, over the ball. So that uh, face balance center shaft should work out. Give me three bucks. Okay. Well, the stroke was better. Yeah, the butt. You, know, you don't really want to focus to all at every time. It's just oh, that felt nice. Oh, that felt nice. So solid. There we go. Okay. <laughs> okay. So that's two butts also. Like you said, the ball is rolling better. Yes. Your consistency was much better. Yeah. And obviously there's much, there's more different styles of center shafts. Yes. But the center shaft face balance uh, with a thicker grip, I would definitely recommend. Let's have a look at the, at the link. So what I'm going to do is just standing in that two position. And this is a 35 inch putter. Is that your natural position? Eh? Nice one, Max. I feel too natural. Just grip it there for me. So you probably go 34 inches. Okay. okay. So the 34 inch putter is going to work better for you. The 35 is a little bit too long. Yeah, I feel there. There I feel, I feel too very relaxed. Yeah. Okay. So what happens is a lot of people, the putter would be too long for them. So what's happening is they're actually standing like this. And that's not really the way to, to stroke it. You want to stand nice and natural so you've got that nice flow to your stroke. You know, showing me that uh, back in the day, the, the coaches used to teach you how to putt and actually hold it like this. I'm just Those days are gone. gone. That's gone. Days that's gone. gone. Yeah. Okay. So in yeah. your natural position. So for me, I'm, uh, I'm using also 35 inch. Here's my hands nice and natural. Yeah. I'd probably go 34 as well. But uh, I like to stand a little bit taller over the board. Okay. All right, so guys, um, I think this putt is going to my bag. I'll see what deal I can sort out of the pro shop today. Even roll. Uh, tell me, is there any pros using this putt? Any pros on the tour using this putt? Uh, not that I know. All right, okay. but, but it, there's a lot of guys that use center shaft. Yeah. Okay, so it's common. I've, I've been using a center shaft before, and I felt that was the problem. That's why I came for a club fitting today with the putt, especially. So Alfred, thank you very much, and um, let's move over to the practice nets and see what we go from there. Thanks, Enjoy. Guys. Thank you. Perfect.